winter carnival at Lake George is proof that what you can do during summer for fun, you can do equally as well in winter with a few variations. But pity this year's carnival queen, who mistakenly thought the bathing suit competition was just for fun. This activity is just a warm-up for the main event. This is a story about one man's bid to move across a patch of frozen water faster than anyone before. The vehicle is a rocket-powered dragster called Oxygen. It is capable of speeds in excess of 300 miles per hour on land. Conceivably, it can go just as fast on ice, with a few modifications, like four aluminum skis. The rocket man who will drive it is really Sammy Miller, the construction man from Wayne, New Jersey. A professional drag racer for 16 years, he is also a self-taught expert on rocket propulsion systems. He has $80,000 and six years of nights and weekends invested in this homemade rocket ship, one he sincerely hopes will never get off the ground. She's just a glider, and if it hits any of their twists or anything like that, she'll go. Just airborne? Yeah, and I mean, I can't fly it too well up there, but <laughs> I'll try. You can try anything, you know? Should his dragster or snowmobile become a missile or airplane, these stubby stabilizer wings won't make for a very smooth flight. But the 10,000 pounds of thrust from this rocket engine will surely make it a fast one. It weighs about 80 pounds. It's got 10,000 pounds of thrust. There's no moving parts in it. Inside the engine is just silver screens. It's like a, sil like a door screen, but they're pure silver, and they're wrapped around, and fuel is injected through it. When it hits the silver, it breaks off 600 times itself. No clutch to pop, no accelerator to floor. Right, the range and speed it. is predetermined by the amount of fuel right. taken on before each practice right, run. Keep a good count on the amount of turns, Ray. I want to know the exact gallonage in reference to the inches. Too little fuel, and the mission will abort prematurely. Too much, and the rocket man okay, is bound from Montreal to the north. Right. This is our steering wheel. This is a parachute. There's a parachute on that left pedal. And this one here is, uh, you pull this and the toilet flushes. <laughs> launch is prefaced by several test firings to see if the hydrogen peroxide fuel is reacting with the silver catalyst. Now, like a Saturn II poised for takeoff at Cape Kennedy, Sammy Miller calls out his own countdown on Lake George. trips the speed trap at 179 miles per hour, a new world's record, but still just a warning shot that Sammy's bid to double the existing record and go 300 miles per hour on ice. I think what's been happening is I've been trying to drive it as a car instead of a rocket ship, and I've got to get my mind back that I'm in a flying machine. I've got to get to airspeed. Tomorrow I'll be flying the car. I mean, I'm going to be driving as a rocket ship, not as a car anymore. I'll be trimming it off. I'll be setting adjustments on it so that the thing will actually handle like a rocket ship. And that's all I've got going for me out there. It's ice. It's hard to explain. You know, it's a cannon. It's an actual cannon. It's, if you took your car and parked it like a Volkswagen out in the freeway and wait for something to hit you at 70 miles an hour, and that initial bang you get, that's what the power is like. On a jet airplane, it'd be like maybe 12, 15 times the amount of power you get on takeoff. So really, you, you really have to condition yourself to it because you've got to get ready for it. You've got to lock your neck back and push your body back, even though you're as tight as you can be with your seatbelts, so that if you, your head's turned a little bit, you're not going to straighten it out until it comes off a thrust. I mean, it's going to stay like that. So you want to get yourself perfectly ready for it. Because when you hit that throttle, that's it, until it's out of the fuel. How close are you to actually lifting off and becoming an aircraft rather than a vehicle? If the thing should lose or break something where it could change the angle of the rocket 
we'll be a thousand feet in the air before she comes down. From the moment the car moves to the moment it stops, it's probably seven seconds. You correct 30, 40 times, you keep threading that needle. You get a severe tunnel vision, you, and you can only aim it into that hole. You just keep threading the needle. If you miss one point, and you're off a half an inch at the start, you'll be 30, 40, 50 feet off the other end. So you gotta keep it in there. At the time something goes wrong, if you think about it, it takes one second to think, maybe half a second, or another second to react, and by that time, you lost. Throw your red smoke, that means come on, you're all clear. Get a time. 247.93 miles per hour is now the world speed record on ice. And Sammy Miller, the rocket man, is now the man to beat. record once set by an ice boat has fallen. It is now 247 miles per hour. It is held by Sammy Miller and his vehicle Oxygen. But that's not it for Sammy. He has one more record he'd like to try. He'd like to set the land speed record. Stay with us. We'll be back with more tonight's PM Magazine in just a minute.